Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, trainer John O'Brien's forever grand turned the heat up in the Trinidad and Tobago Midsummer Classic. Meanwhile, in Jamaica, the Phillies took center stage in the 85th running of the Jamaica Oaks at Caymanus Park. Also in Jamaica, trainer Anthony Nunes won a sixth derby title on the Independence Day race card. Another big stakes win at the Saratoga race course for trainer Safi Joseph Jr. Over in Canada, former joint champion jockey Dane Nelson rode a 7-2 winner in the Martin Dareline Stakes at Century Mile. Our opening story from Trinidad and Tobago. Champion trainer John O'Brien's unbeaten headlines was again withdrawn from a classic race after bolting from the gates and would end up missing the first two classics of 2024. All was not lost as trainer O'Brien's other two charges, Uncle Rog at 4-5 and Forever Grand at 9-5, were both sent off as favorites. Forever Grand didn't get a clean break with the rest of the pack and trailed for most of the way going towards the far turn where Mohammed made his move on the leaders. They come out from the far turn and Forever Grand on the outside. Unbelievable on the inside and these two are the top two in there. Then Red Alert in third, Secret Pages is fourth, then Hot Rod Cashton. Top of the stretch they come. Unbelievable is running an unbelievable race on the inside. Forever Grand is battling away. Forever Grand and unbelievable. Six lengths finds Secret Pages inside the final furlong. Forever Grand has taken over the lead. And Forever Grand gives John O'Brien 11 Midsummer Classic wins. A big come from behind run by the three year old Geldin Forever Grand, who recovered from a not so good start to win the second jewel of local racing's Midsummer Classic. A patient ride by jockey Nila Mohammed for champion trainer John O'Brien and owners Poop Tip Stud Farm Limited, covering the nine furlongs course in a modest 1 minute 57.18 seconds. In Jamaica now for the 85th running of the Jamaica Oaks, which unearthed the best fillies in the island who showcased their speed and endurance over the 10 furlongs course. The island's best three-year-old fillies were on show in the Race 10 feature event at Kimanas Park, a 13-horse field set to take on the 10 furlongs course. Leading rider Tevin Foster getting the mount of the 3-5 to five favorite come home to me. Also well-backed was the 6-1 to one bet speed merchant Banadura with the hard-riding jockey Robert Halladine in the saddle. As the field make their way now inside the final half of a mile in the 85th running of the Oaks, and Banadura now goes on and tries to steal that lead. She's that girl has progressed well. Just toward the inside, that is Blue Sensation has to make some ground. Oh So Smart has a lot to do from there, but back to the leader as they make their way toward the 516th, and it is Banadura out in front and traveling strongly. She's that girl now on the leash. Blue Sensation in the green cap races in the center, but it is all Banadura up front at the moment. She's that girl is down against the rail. In between horses, that is a blue sensation. And coming out wide, it is Amma for a late kick. But can they catch Banadura in the Oaks? They have a furlong to do it. It is Banadura out in front. Here now is Amma trying to close up along with blue sensation. But Banadura and Robert Halladine have slipped the field. And they take the 85th running of the Jamaica Oaks. The Jason Acosta condition, Banadura returning from a month layoff, gets the desired results for the first time of asking. A two and a half length win margin for Banadura and Robert Halladine, riding for owner Milaid Azan, giving champion trainer Jason Acosta a one two finish, adding to his list of local wins. And the big story out of Jamaica Shane, the Canterman Ellis, guides the five to two bet crown chaser to a marginal half of a length victory over the favorites in the Jamaica Derby. The highly anticipated Jamaica Derby took center stage at Kimanas Park on the day when Jamaica celebrated its 62nd year of independence. Taking to the track was a star-studded field with some of the island's best three-year-olds. The 11-horse field looks like this. Zula Warrior occupies the inside lane. Next up, the Anthony Nunes trained crown chaser with the six-time Derby champion Shane Ellis in the saddle. Closest to him was the lone filly in the lineup the Ian Prasad condition run Julie run. The middle pack consisted of Mac and Rome, King Pae, and the anti post favorite Interesting Times Ahead. Oil Machine and the Jason Acosta pair of California Crown and Provident occupied gates 7, 8, and 9, respectively. Bold move a break from gate number 10, and the Puerto Rican born Edgar Zayas was aboard Captain Sparrow in gate number 11 and breaking widest of them all. 
they head down the backstretch. The leader, Run Julie Run, in front by a length. From between horses, California Crown and out three wide. Here's the favorite interest in times ahead, picking off horses and up into second. Gap of two and a half to Crown Chaser, then Provident. A length and a half to Oil Machine, who puts the cue in the rack. Captain Sparrow begins to rally within 15 of the lead. Dropping back is Zulu Warrior with Mac and Rome. Out the back now, the trailer is King Pie. They're about to arrive at the half mile in the 104th running of the Jamaica Derby and run Julie run the filly has made a big move. Interesting times ahead trying to get to her. Crown Chaser right with them. Maybe three legs separates the first three as they drive toward the 3-8's pole. Back back now to Provident beginning to make some ground. Watched Captain Sparrow ask to sprout wings. California Crown has faded after the early run. Further back to Oil Machine racing ahead of King Pie then Zulu Warrior and Mac and Rome as they're about to come into the top of the stretch in the derby run julie run she's the filly and she is brave and traveling well over on the rail that is crown chaser and captain sparrow now begins to fly on the outside captain sparrow being fought by run julie run crown chaser trying to battle on down against the rail but run julie run is brave that's the gray filly they're inside the final 16th run julie run giving her all crown chaser now gathering momentum on the rail the bobbing noses toward the line crown Chaser wins the derby. A signature ride by the veteran jockey Shane Ellis, who now wins the seventh derby title, four of those for trainer Anthony Nunes, who now makes it a sixth derby win. I was there comfortable and interested in times I'd make his mood move, but I wasn't worried. But he made his move and he, he stopped me a little bit, but I still wasn't panicked and because we still have five more furlongs to go. So I was just relaxed and let him get himself back together and get him back on the bit and then I take it from there. In, in the St. Ledger, he was wide on every turn. He drew outside. Shane tried to come down and couldn't get a chance to come down. The horses were packed up on the inside. And he ended up getting shuffled back. So it wasn't my plan that we ended up that far back. And I thought he did well to come home and he ran a, a creditable third. And it's funny, I was just telling someone a while ago, in the week, I sat and I watched all my derby wins and, I, and Shane has won three out of the five of them up till today. And I said, Shane, you know, Relampago's Derby, if you pass this wire here for the first time in a nice, comfortable fifth in the mid pack by yourself on the fence, I'll be as happy as a lark. We, we sat quietly confident. Having Shane Ellis in the saddle is always a plus. We got him here in time for the St. Ledger. Unfortunately, could not have come before. And he, he, was, he was beaming with confidence. Shane said, I have this. I've got this one. A nail-biting finish to the line with just half a length separating the Philly run, Julie run, from the winner, jockey Edgar Zayas aboard Captain Sparrow, ran a good race to secure third. We track over to Saratoga Racetrack in New York where jockey Dylan Davis rode to a nine-length victory for trainer Safi Joseph Jr. in the Adirondack Stakes. The Safi Joseph Jr. trained the Queen's MG returning from a short three weeks break since her last competitive run seemed to be in peak form as she broke from the top of the straight and showed the rest of the field a clean pair of heels. Three of them across the track at the top of the stretch. The Queen's MG is up to take the lead. Dare to Breeze in second. Italian Soiree is trying to rally, but the Queen's MG has given them the wave off. The Queen's MG absolutely towering over the competition in the Adirondack wins by eight. Jockey Dylan Davis rode the 5-2 bet, the Queen's MG, to a convincing nine-length victory over a quality field, stopping the clock in one minute, 17.83 seconds for the six and a half furlongs distance. And our final story coming out of Century Mile in Canada, where Jamaican jockey Dane Nelson was the star of the show of the Canadian $50,000 Martin Deerline Stakes. Dane the Warrior Chief Nelson continued his good form in Canada at the Century Mile Racetrack aboard the 72 bet, putting on the foil in the 50,000 Canadian dollars Martin Deerline Stakes. Taking the lead with a little over 500 meters to go, Nelson took the lead and left the rest of the field in his dust. Down the stretch, quarter mile from home, putting on the foil, puts away Mr. Easy. Rowdy Town is down for the drive and in second now, putting on the foil, is on the rail, shown the whip, shown the two length lead, putting on the foil, putting on a show, putting on the foil. 
dazzling debut at 72. Rowdy Town at clear second. A 72 winner for jockey Dane Nelson, riding for trainer Gonzalo Anderson and owner Curtis Landry, beating Rowdy Town in second and Holidays again in third. A full week of racing all round to kickstart the August race calendar. Milestone Derby win for trainer Anthony Baba Nunes and jockey Shane Ellis. There were also stakes wins in Canada at Trax Hastings and Assiniboia Downs for TNT Jocks, Pravin Badri, Brian Boudram Singh, Karen Kenawan, and Ronald Ali, along with Barbadian Ronaldo Kamabach. We were not the track covering the sport of kings. Check us out again next week. Well, that's it for us for today. I'll see you tomorrow. We have to go. Bye for now. One of the greatest, ain't no debating on it. I'm still levitated, I'm heavily medicated. Ironic, I gave them love and they end up hating on me. She told me she loved me and she been waiting. Been fighting hard for your love and I'm running thin on my patience. Needing someone to hug, even took it back to the basics. You see what you got me out here doing? Might have threw me off, but can't nobody stop the movement. Uh -uh.